Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. Make it make sense. Make sure you, when you come in, subscribe, like, and share my videos, okay? Now you can sit down and let me narrate to you all. What is Kanye doing? Did he get beat up? Y'all see that big old bruise? That red rash or whatever he got on? I think he got hit. I'm just saying. It don't look like no, uh, we call it cold freeze. Or, um, uh, what do you call it? You know when your face would be freezing outside? Uh, uh, free, burn freeze or something like that? Freeze burn? Child, he even got Jaden Smith upset. Come around here talking about white lives matter. I'm like... If you want to put it like that, then Kanye, everybody lives matter, okay? But what's being reported on and being shown on TV is black lives are endangered right here, not right now. They like it's an endangered species going on here. And Jaden Smith said he out. <laughs> he said he don't know what Kanye has drunk or eaten or whatever. But when he comes talking about some white lives matter, we got to go, okay? We got to go. And he sure got the hell out of there, too. But him, meaning Kanye, and Candace Owen, they just want to start chaos. Do you understand what I'm saying? Chaos, all right? They ain't, they ain't there, but just for the shits. They want to take everything and everyone just totally out their space of thinking. And they want to just, like, Take away from the fashion show. You know what I'm saying? Like they're trying to make a political statement here. Okay. Oh, I mean, dog lives matter. White lives matter. Black lives matter. Um, who else? Indians lives matter. In, uh, what do you call it? Asian lives matter. But he going to say white lives matter. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? That's like when he said slavery was a choice. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. He done drunk too much from somebody's well, and it has made him drunk, meaning insane, okay? Oh, and these styles, these clothing, they look like they, like homeless people. What? Who's buying this shit, okay? I want to know who's actually buying this crap. And the crap costs a lot of money. Have y'all seen them earth shoes that look like Crater Rocks or something? Or something off of uh, Star Trek? Child, please. I don't know who is sitting up there telling Kanye he got fashion down. Because looking at these outfits, it's giving me a tease of kindergarten. Kindergarten could have uh, put that shit together, okay? I don't know what Kanye got going on, but it ain't nothing that's in the same facility, okay? He's more so, like, insane. He wants to basically corrupt something that ain't need, don't need to be corrupted. He want to start chaos, but don't know chaos need to be there. We just want a fashion show, man. And you got the homeless connect, collection back at us. Thinking we're going to uh, partake of that. No, we didn't even partake of that big old uh, black bag you had in Gap. And everybody had to go diving for the uh, pieces they wanted. It wasn't on no hanger, no none of that. He wanted to go dive dumpster in his garbage bag. That got full of, you know, name brand, well, his name brand clothes in it. Like, Kanye done lost his mind, and Jada Smith is the one that can get him together and find that peace of mind that he showed left back on the bus or however he, he rolled up on his fashion show in New York because that was a hot mess. Or was it in Paris, y'all? I don't know. But I think it was in New York. But we, we'll get into the article. I just had to tell y'all 
who we, who we were talking about, why we were talking about it, and does it make sense? Because right now, it don't. It still don't make sense. Other than he just want to start bullshit. You know what I'm saying? He wants to start a racial war out there. Now, don't he know most people, I ain't going to say most, just a good percentage of people are interracially married or having a relationship. And this young man is sitting around him talking about white lives matter. And he black as smut, okay? And then... <sighs> I just can't get over him and them uh, flip flops with the socks on. I'm like, who does that now? That's why we have an open toe shoe that you can slip your whole, you can still wear your socks in case your feet get cold and you can slide it in now. But he, he uses a little sandal that you have to put your, your two, well, your front two feet or toes in it, like slide up in it. It's like very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. But yeah, he running around him with some flip flops on. <laughs> I was like, oh, he need a bed in somebody's wing, okay, and get some deeply uh, needed sleep and rest. And uh, Miss uh, Owens need to go right along with him, okay? They need a suite where you got both of their behinds up there, just relaxing, not stressing about anything, and just feeling in the breeze. If they're by the beach where they want to go to get some, the mental help that they need it. Because this is some bullshit they bring in. I'm like, you, they, Kanye saying they made a, a, a mockery out of Black Lives Matter. And they stole funds f uh, from the concept of marching and trying to pr protect black and brown people. And GoFundMe's were uh, presented and they did everything but help the black community with that. And that's what I hear. That's what I read. I don't know how it really went down. But Kanye, just like you can't say we got to focus on Black Lives Matter. You want us to touch on White Lives Matter. But what they're showing in the news every time you turn around, you got Black Lives being on the chopping block because we have white cops that feel like they want to go back in Jim Crow days and they just want to do what they do, what they've been doing for so long, so very long before we got rights. And now you finna strip our rights and just say, no, white lives matter. But anyway, we're going to go on to the article because after that, I'm going to ask you all to get down in them comments and y'all tell me what y'all thought about. Do Kanye need a, a much needed rest? Okay, does he need a much-needed rest and a reset? Somebody need to take him to the mental health facility and get him a total workup, okay? Don't pass go. Just send him straight to the mental health behavior center and let him be free. Let him have no thoughts in his mind about doing nothing. He ain't have to be on nobody's time schedule until they come get him and they have talk sessions with him. And it could be needed some, um, what do you call it? Mental health medication, see. That's right. Some mental health uh, management. I'm just saying. That's what I think. But we're going into the article and see what somebody else thought, which is a Tomas Mir had wrote up on Kanye's West Fashion Show. He titled it, uh, The Fashion World Turns on Kanye West. Was it positive that they turned on him? Was it negative? I don't know. But let's get into the article and see what they talking about. Okay. Kanye West is facing the repercussions of and harsh critiques for his most recent attention-seeking article or antics in fashion. Yes. That was put very politely and definitely solidified itself. He's attention-seeking. You would think he would have enough on his plate. Taking care of his kids, running his businesses, and getting to other adventures. But no, he won't sit up there and start chaos in the global world as we speak. Oh, my goodness, my goodness gracious. That's all the only thing I can say, my goodness gracious. But anyway, we're going into it. Uh, after having model strut with the White Lives Matter t-shirts during the YZY show in Paris. Okay, it was in Paris, Milan. Milan, Paris. Okay. 
uh, Monday, leaders in the fashion world heavily criticized and slammed the provocateur for his ill-executed attempt at sending a message about race. Yes, fashion has nothing to do with race. Fashion has a face for every person in this United States and then some. Okay, we don't agree with his stance, okay? Because if he wanted to be politically correct, if we wanted to enclose, encapsulate everybody as a whole unit, then it would be everybody lives matter. You know what I'm saying? But Jaden and uh, Kylie Jenner, they said, "Uh uh-uh, we're going to get off his train. We wanted to support him. We were there for him. But then this this jigger going to go around him doing some real effed up shit. Y'all see them flip flops he got on? And they probably got rhinestones on them, making me think, okay, is he a little sweet? Is he a little fruity right about now? I don't know. But everything just ain't looking ain't, ain't looking up for him. Ain't We ain't smelling no kind of roses when it comes to him. It's a hot mess. Hot mess. But going back to the article. It said, West, for his part, has doubled down on his Candace Owens endorsed fashion statement and weaponized his social media to, one, say that Black Lives Matter was a scam, two, attack Vogue editor Gabrielle Karifa Johnson, who described his White Lives Matter show as an incredibly irresponsible and dangerous act, and three, blame the CEO of LV. M.H. for the death of his alleged best friend, Virgil Ablon. Okay. So now he's grieving. He is grieving about his friend that left this world. Okay, I don't think he got shot or stabbed or anything. I think he had a heart attack. Did he not? I don't know. Somebody investigate it because I don't feel like it. All right. In other words, he bagged his nonsense-built YZY line with even more nonsense. The Vogue editor, editor put it best. The t-shirts this man conceived, produced, and shared with the world are pure violence, Miss Johnson wrote. There is no excuse. There is no art here. Earlier in the day, Miss Johnson had shared her thoughts on the show and explained that Wes was trying to illustrate a disp- wait a minute, dis- uh, disp- penia, disp- whatever, okay, world in the future when whiteness might become extinct. But in reality, she really said, she said his show did something with a completely opposite effect. It hugely irresponsible to furnish the most dangerous extremists with this kind of fictional narrative okay because they sure all right white folks ain't extinct not at all that's crazy that's flawed thinking but going back to the article it said attacking the editor in four instagram feed posts west described johnson who has more than 10 years of experience working in fashion journalism as a droid and not a fashion person claiming that his show had broke the processor when the computer can't read the code well you got candace on up there y'all spawn some white lives matter t-shirts in white and black letters and i'm like what here we go again. And he's talking about, oh, um, white lives matter now. We ain't talking about black lives matter. We ain't talking about any other lives matter, but white lives matter. Oh, anyway, going back to um, the only Jason Lee. And I'm thinking that's Jason Lee from um, Hollywood Unlocked, I'm thinking. He wrote in his Instagram post about this situation. I love Ye as a person and I support free speech. But this is gaslighting black people and empowering white supremacy. Not sure if he has any friends left to tell him. But this is utterly disappointing. I am going to exercise free speech and say nobody black has ever said that white lives don't matter. But when black people do this it just screams the need for white validation not to mention adding candace owens to this photo is beyond reprehensible i understand he believes in her right 
to free speech, but her speech is typically embedded in self-hate, a determination to promote white supremacy, and she lacks integrity. This is sad. Child Jason Lee had to get up here and weigh in on this situation. Okay, because that's what it is. A situation until he go to the mental health uh, facility, lay his butt down somewhere, and just talk to somebody about what's going on in his life to make him just want to just be in, in, in closing one group of people. When he look in the mirror, I'm sure he see a black man. I'm sure he see a black man there, right? But then maybe he don't. Maybe his... Mind is tricking him and he's seeing a white man. But people keep telling Kanye that he's black and he's not accepting of that at all. I mean, that's just my spiel. Don't really know if that's really what was going on here. <clears throat> but it's a hot mess, I can tell you that much. But later in the day, going back to the article, it says Vogue shared a statement on Instagram saying the magazine stands with Karifa Johnson calling West attack on her unacceptable. Now more, now more than ever, voices like hers are needed, the magazine wrote. <clears throat> and in a private meeting with Ye today, she once again spoke her truth in a way she felt best on her terms. The statement from Vogue came after West called Karifa Johnson. My sister in his own Instagram post said that they met for two hours and claimed that famed Director Baz Luhrmann filmed the interaction per Anna Wintour's request. Rolling Stone has reached out to Ms. Johnson and Luhrmann for comment. We apologize to each other for the way we made each other feel. West wrote, we actually got along and had both experiences, experienced a fight or, or for acceptance in a world that's not our own. But Karifa Johnson was far from the only person to find offense with the West Wazi line. Among those to criticize his White Lives Matter shirt were Jaden Smith, who walked out of the show and later tweeted, I don't care who it is. If I don't feel the message, I'm out. And I'm like, I'm with you. I'm, I'm right behind you. And then caught up with you. And we shook our head. <laughs> we shook our head as we were going out the door. Like, ooh, bless that child. Bless that child. Cause he done lost his mind. All right. But anyway, going back to that. Um, Day's journalist, Lynette Nyland Nylander, um, also walked out of the show writing, it doesn't matter what the intention was, it's perception to the masses out of context. British Vogue editor Edward Innerful said the following day that the shirt was insensitive, giving the state of the world and Gigi Hadid, who deleted a comment on West Instagram, wrote, if there's actually a point to any of your shit, uh, Miss Johnson might be the only person that could save you you're a bully and a joke in true yay fashion west channeled his frustrations after the backlash by having a instagram tantrum west attempted to pull late fashion icon virgil abloh into his defense insinuating that bernard arnott the ceo of louis vuitton i don't know what the mh means had killed my best friend and that everyone got a right to an opinion so there's mine <clears throat> and uh, Louis Vuitton, something representative, told the New York Times that Arnott had no comment. I bet he didn't have no comment. I bet he just walked away. <laughs> I, I bet you he just walked away. Like, it was nothing going on, wasn't nothing happening, but they had to get out of Dodge because they didn't want to get hit with the bullets Kanye was spreading and aiming at people, okay? I guess the black people he was aiming at. <laughs> It was supposed to be a fashion, but he made a statement to implore division. Can we get can we get an amen on that? Kanye didn't do nothing but try to start some division among the masses, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, And the Ablo mentioned is where Tremaine Emery, the creative director of Supreme, had to draw the line, calling out the rapper for his alleged disrespect for Ablo doing his doing his life and following his death i like, do kanye still rap y'all or he just going around him making statements that are just crazy insane insensitive 
being a spokesperson of himself, not nobody else. He ain't trying to help nobody else out there. He's just trying to start chaos as quickly and as regularly regular as possible. But going back to the article, well, we're going to read what Tremaine Emery said, okay? All righty. He said, I got to draw the line that you using Virgil's death in your yay is the victim campaign in front of your siphonet peanut algorithm gallery. Damn, he got... Boy, they can know his ass. Kanye probably had to pick up a book and, and a dictionary to see what the hell those uh, words meant. You know what I'm saying? So he can fire back on his own terms, okay? But anyway, it says, your best friend Virgil, Negro, please. This time last year, you said Virgil's designs are a disgrace to the black community in front of all your employees and Yeezy. Ask Lucette Holland. I got all the receipts. Don't let me get into the things you said about V after his death. Mm. I tell you, social media world ain't got no time for playing around with people no more. They get to pulling receipts, printing them out, and put it right up in your face. Woo. Okay, we're going back to Tremaine getting on, uh, getting in uh, Kanye's West behind. He said, the things you said about V after his death, you tell the people why you didn't get invited to Virgil's actual funeral, the one before the public one at the museum, and why you weren't allowed to speak at the public funeral. You knew Virgil had a uh, terminal cancer, and you wrote on him in a group chat at Yeezy's interview songs, etc. You are so broken. Keep Virgil's name out your mouth. Keep Gabrielle's name out of your mouth. You're not a victim. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Lord, I lost my stance, you guys. Oh, Lord. Okay, here we go. Um, you're not a victim. You're just as insecure narcissist that's dying for validation from the fashion world. Taking care, at least. We've always had Uganda. <laughs> Lord, they done bought Africa up in here. They done bought Africa up in here. Oh, Lord, North America is in trouble as long as Kanye is around here starting shit. Now, I did tell y'all, I showed y'all in his uh, visuals I got going on the screen. He seemed like he got roughed up or something because his face is kind of swollen on that right side and it's just bruised okay so did he hit the pavement did somebody get him and did do work on him before the fashion show started or was this after the fashion show or maybe hell during the fashion show we just don't know we just don't know but anyway the last time last year okay wait a minute y'all read that okay okay yeah okay but of course Wes is not done talking. No, he ain't. He ain't done yet, y'all. A recent post on his IG read, When I said war, I mean war. The story was updated at 7.20 p.m. to include a statement from Vogue supporting Ms. Johnson and a new post from Wes regarding the editor and rapper's meeting. Child, child, child. It's bad when you get thrown out the black community, but when you get thrown out the fashion community, where can you go? Who can you run to, Kanye, to share that empty space by yourself? Who can you run to? Because you need love. Yes, honey, Kanye needs some love because he ain't getting it nowhere. If Y ex-wife don't want him, hell, the kids barely want to be around him. The community definitely done shun him. Now the fashion show feel like they would go without fashions before they have Kanye West be a part of their organization anymore. <laughs> that damn Kanye, I tell you, he give you a laugh. He would give you a laugh here and there. Mm -hmm. At any given time. With them clothes coming over in Gap in a big old black bag. Like, not a laundry bag, but a garbage bag looking like. Child, and he wanted you to dive through the stuff. 
or dip, you know, dip in there and try to pull out your size and everything. That man's crazy. He is crazy. All right. But we got pretty, we got a lot of mental health facilities out there that we readily at, at, at your whim to take Kanye in and start giving him talk therapy because evidently nobody's listening to uh the cry he has out there he has to do these things to continue to be supported by people i'm like are you just that bad off kanye are you just that bad off babe you need to stop it you need to stop it you need to stop it stop putting chaos out there for the masses to consume we do not need it we do not ask for it and you need to sit down somewhere okay we really need to sit down but that's all i got it was from rolling stone magazine and we um showcased kanye west and a little bit of can what's his name what's that owens candace owens because they are too fit to be tied i think they need to be married so they can go around looking like that in public and trying to get people to see their point of view when we will not anything that's driven on hate and um ostracizing another race or a group of people that's not what we want we want unity on all fronts from all different cultures and we need understanding for each other's preference or how they do things because of their culture but yeezy up there look at look at them ugly shoes Look at the clothes he got. Like we in Alaska somewhere, Antarctica. We, it don't get that cold here in Georgia. I don't know if he get that cold in New York or Paris. But child. See, that's the bruise I'm talking about, y'all. Did somebody clock him before he came out with the fashion show? Did somebody clock him on the right-hand side? Because it looked like it kind of swollen. Looked like it kind of swollen, y'all. But that's just my opinion. It may not even be that. But I know Jaden got the hell out of there. He got tired of ye, yay, fooling around with his mentality. He's like, uh-uh, I don't agree with this. Let me get up on out of here. He did the right thing. Don't start no stuff. Don't be messing up somebody else's uh, time and attention they had paid and uh, came out to see the new fashions for the new upcoming year. And um, yay, come with some mess like that. That's totally disrupted everybody's mentality, okay? It's like we all just needed to lay down, refresh, reset ourselves, and just, like, it never happened. We know that was, that we know that didn't happen. That was just a bad dream we was in. When, when in fact, it was, in, you know, it was in real time. It wasn't a joke. We had to experience that, okay? But y'all get down in those comments, and y'all let me know what y'all thought about this situation. Uh, that that man is just crazy. I mean, literally crazy. He don't want no help. He don't see that he's wrong. That's a narcissist right there. So how can we? How can we help him? When he don't, he's he ain't crying for no help. He just sitting there doing what he want to do. Ah, oh, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you the truth. But it just is what it is. And you get down in those comments. Let me know what y'all thought about it. And I will see y'all on the next video, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.